The nice thing about um, 33 through 37 is they say the vertex is at 0, 0. So first thing I would do is plot the vertex. Right? Now, since we know the vertex, there's two types of parabolas we can have. Right? We can open left or right, or it could open up or down. Right? Since we know the vertex is 0, do we know any other information for that? No. But it does provide us with the focus. And the focus, they say, is at 0, comma, negative 3 halves. So 0 down negative 3 halves. So that's the focus. Now remember, think about when the parabola, where was the focus related to the shape of the parabola? Was it to the left, to the right, above it, inside of it? It was inside of it, right? So therefore, does our parabola have to face down, up, left, or right? Down. down. Okay. So now since the parabola is going to take shape of something like this, can we now realize, can we now realize of what formula we're going to be using? Yeah. yeah, we're going to use the one with the x squared. And we need to make sure that we know that our p value is going to be negative, which again, remember the p value is the distance from your vertex to your focus. So I'll write the equation x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. And so I don't know, what are they asking? They were just asking for standard, standard form. form. Oh, they do want standard form. OK. So they said that the vertex is at 0, 0. So I'll plug that in. x minus 0 squared equals 4 times p. Well, remember, they said the focus was at 0 comma negative 3 halves, was it? So if we know if the distance from the vertex to the focus, sure is negative 3 halves in the box, the middle box, middle box, middle box, middle box, middle box. There we go. So now we know the p value is negative 3 halves. Does that make sense? Vertex to the focus, vertex to the focus, p. That's the value. So it's a negative 3 halves oh, y minus 0. Well, we don't have to solve for k. Um, what's nice about it, because we already, well, we already know k is 0. Now, I multiply this. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Why? Now again, what we need to do is just multiply this. Um, we want to multiply, uh, or when I subtracted the zeros, I, you know, y minus 0, Caroline, and x minus 0 is just going to be x and y. So then I just divide by negative 6. Divide by negative 6, y equals x squared over negative 6. However, we don't really write polynomials like that. We don't really write them divided by a number. We provide, we prefer to write them as a fraction multiplied by there. So that would be your standard form, negative 1 sixth times x squared, which is the same thing as divided by negative 6. Yes? Because remember that the vertex is in the format of h comma k. Yes, the vertex is still a point on the parabola. And yes, it does still represent an x and a y. You're right. But on this formula, we designate special, special points, the h and the k, as the vertex. You can't plug in any x, y cut number for the h and the k to represent the vertex. You can only represent the points that are at the top or the bottom as your h and your k. Okay? But yes, they are x, y coordinates on the graph. And yes, you could use them as any other coordinate in the graph. So it's 